Why, hello, good to have you here, myself, Paul Tretti, and the one and only Dave Arcade with the dramatic turn. And two hands. And two hands, both are ready to go. Neither one has a glove on it, but not to worry, <laughs> one will for sure. And welcome back for day two. Yes. How you feeling, buddy? Great, man, you know, crazy. Crazy, just making things happen. Yeah. You know, on screen, off screen. How are you all doing? All sorts of things. Yeah, I'm doing well, man. I got, I got, I've had one coffee and I have two more right here. So I think we're <laughs> gonna get this done in like no time okay. today. That's but great. Uh, we got some uh, Photoshop magic, some illustration done in Photoshop, and we'll kind of, kind of pick apart what you did a little bit yesterday, kind of do a recap, although that is available in the replays. And then we have, of course, a full day of fun design in UX UI. Big thank you to Juan Jose. Kicking off the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. Uh, we have Dave for two hours. We locked him in here already. We have XD uh, happening at 11.30, and then this afternoon, UX UI with James Sue as well. So we, we bust out the pros. Dave, <laughs> James, Andrea, everyone, it's awesome. So, um, yeah, good to have you. Uh, give us a say hello. Sam has a good idea, hello. Samuel, Cheryl. Yeah. Dave needs a Michael Jackson-esque Ryan Stone Ryan glove. Ryan Stone glove, that, that would be cool. Just scratch the crap <laughs> like, out of my screen. <laughs> I know, right, because all these <laughs> rhinestones on it. <laughs> like Ray says, let's glove up. That's your phrase in the morning, glove up. What Snaps color are we gonna use on. today, guys? We're gonna go with black. We're gonna go with tried and true red. We're gonna go with purple. Or periwinkle? <laughs> Peri periwinkle. Blue. Blue blast or Patrick <laughs> Pink. Oh man, Patrick Pink. That's a good that's a good one too. You guys have to choose, or else I can't draw. <laughs> So feel free to let us know what color glove to use. And uh, yeah, uh, also today what we will be doing, not. Oh, we're getting uh, some blues, that. perp, pink. S pink. See what everybody's saying. We need to take at least an hour for the survey. Uh, just so you know, we do have a challenge going on as well. So we're just creating a mood board in Photoshop so you can check out that challenge tab. And uh, we'll be reviewing that in 90 minutes. There's a lot of pink, man. Yeah. That pink is... <laughs> you offered it up, and I mean, they can do nothing but take it. We, we did red yesterday. Black's almost too easy. Pink actually totally works. It's like the color of my mom's nightgowns when I was a kid. Yeah, that's weird. Jeez, guys. <laughs> this thing is not awesome. <laughs> but you know what? It's my, it. my fault. Um, you offered it up, and they're like, okay, pink no, it is. It's, it's fun. And I think that's appropriate, because we are gonna, you know, I know you're doing, you actually have some illustration to do, but if you have a chance, you're gonna dive into color? Or? I'm gonna I'm gonna dive into color before I finish the line work, for sure, because I, I didn't get to that last time, and it's okay. a huge part of my, it's well, the biggest part of my pieces. Okay, yeah. Of well, my pizzas. Of your pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> so. So yeah, no, I think that would be Im important. And it's been just really cool seeing you uh, create this. Oh, I don't thanks. know if you do a recap like. Um, yeah, I could recap. In terms of. What the hell we're doing. Yeah, and even how people look at this like, well, how did you come up with this? Like there's the whole idea behind it, but then there's also like, how do you how do you mock this up? What, did you sketch it on paper first or? No. It was just kind of in your head. And yeah. then you kind of threw, you, do you go straight to pixels or do you draw, I don't know, sketch on, and you, it's okay, like use a sketch on iPad or I don't know, tell me. Yeah, so what I, what I usually do is um, I start to just kind of scour the internet and I, I tend to lean toward um, older things, um, things kind of from my childhood and from like with a, not a new aesthetic. I don't like that, I like boxy things. And so, so as I was exp uh, explaining yesterday, I was kind of, I found this like cool, you know, old Mac computer. And I was like, oh man, that would make such a, in my brain, this equals good. That would make such a dumb looking face. <laughs> and, uh, and then I kind of, uh, in Cinema 4D, I, I just pulled this head, you know, from uh, the existing model and just chopped it, his head off and, and used it for like C4D, do you typically have a, like do you end up with like a library of assets that yeah. kind of add an isometric view? Okay. Yeah, cool. I have, I do. And I don't always do isometric, but I tend, it's the thing that I do most often. 
And so, yeah, I'm starting to amass an uh, isometric library. Did you have to learn some 3D to kind of to do some of this as well, or no? I started looking at C4D about 10 years ago, and if I would have stayed with it, I'd be amazing at it now, but I kind of, I'm just a hack. I, I use it for um, for this kind of stuff. You know, I can render something, but it's not gonna look great. I can't start an Instagram account. Yeah, uh, and I mean, <sighs> Well, I was thinking about like when it comes to 3D, it takes a little while to render, and it just takes a, it's a lot yes. of processing power, things like that. But at the same time, this takes a long time to render, if you will, as well. It's true. I I prefer this aesthetic um, yeah. over. Uh, look, not to knock anybody who's awesome at C4D. I just I I like doing something that I can do, and not that everyone else can do. Yeah. And I also like cartoons, and mm -hmm. I mean I'm basically just making cartoon images my whole career. Um, Line, line art with color. I Stuff I grew it. up with and it's what I like to draw. This so. is, uh, Lael says it's very creative, love the style. Uh, oh, thank you. Somebody else, yeah, so Bernadette watched one of two today at work, so yeah, now we're two of two. Yes, we Gotta are. Collect the whole set, day two. Let's get these uh, guts finished on the Steve too. Let's if you weren't, weren't paying attention yesterday, well, even if you were, if you didn't tune in yesterday, Steve too has uh, given me some pretty bad advice in the past. And uh, so we're gonna finish rendering him. Oh crap. Yes, Jasmine G, this is, Phil's is the unofficial sponsor of Adobe Live. What is Phil's? I've never Someday heard of... Someday I'm, I'm gonna be sponsored by them. Uh, coffee, just a local coffee chain. Is it, is it better here. than Starbucks? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna, I don't even wanna hardly dignify that with an answer. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, really? I don't You're know. assuming Starbucks is good. Oh yeah, those are fighting words. I, I, I don't drink coffee, so I don't know what's good. Okay. <laughs> I only drink, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's very coffee snobbish to be, to not like Starbucks. It's oh, like really? you can't be a coffee snob and like Starbucks at the same time, which is just kind of messed up. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what is the best uh, guitar brand in your in your mind? Uh, the the kind with the the strings and the that has the long neck. Those um, ones are good. Yeah, I like those ones. Fender. Yes. Yeah. What do you guys think? What's the best guitar brand? <laughs> I don't know guitars. Well, it's Fender. Just so you know. Okay, Fender is right. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Gibson dropped the ball. Sorry, Gibson. Sorry, Gibson fans out there. Are you usually like listening to music as you do this stuff, like when working at home? Or? I do, but then I start going like this. And really? I start rocking out. <laughs> and I, I start listening to the music. Well, that's me rocking out this. <laughs> um, I, I get distracted by music. Okay. So I put on. Being I, a musician yourself. Yes. Okay. I usually put on The Office. Okay. Um, I've, I've watched it now like 80 times, but it's just. Uh, soothing for me. That's why it does. That's why it's the most popular show on Netflix. Is I think it makes a great background show. It's so well written. Yeah. Okay. You can yeah. you can enjoy the jokes without watching it. Yeah. See, that's 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 perfect. Like the right amount of volume. You know how you have yeah. some shows that's like action and quiet. It's like it's too much. Yes. Again, I sound really old when I say that. What, why? Oh, the TV's too loud. <laughs> that's what I just sounded like there. Oh, the TV's. You know the TV's loud. That's true, man. <laughs> Uh, we got a couple other brands out here. Uh, Gibson, we have LTD, Schrechter, Ibanez. Wow. Strato? Do you know Strato? No, those aren't good brands, guys, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. we, all are, we all have our little area where we're just like, you know what? I'm going to be a critic in this one small area, in this area. Yep. That's, that's what I'm like. Whoever I just <laughs> said that to is just like, oh, Dave. You jerk. I work for him. I hate <laughs> you. Uh, other office fans here as well. And honestly, we're glad, you know, you have us on today, by the way. So we're hoping you're, we're your, your office, if you will, um, to keep you company during the day and learn things. I think it's always fun to peek behind the scenes. And your work, by the way, is of course amazing, which I didn't really highlight, but you could go to the info tab, uh, click Dave Arcade, you can find and see his work on Behance. It's just amazing. And it's fun to be able to like sit here and just, Again, look at that. You're gonna be kidding me. You continue to work. I'm just gonna brag okay. about you for a bit. Okay. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah. Yes. This one's really fun. Yes. 
I took a jab at flat earthers on this one, so if you're a flat earther, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, love it. And this is just one project that I picked. Like, look at all these, so fun. Uh, by the way, you were with us, I don't know, October of last year? Yes. And uh, did a design as well, which this kind of reminds me of what you did last time. Didn't you do some text yeah. and? I like to make up little rhymes. So okay. this one was about, um, um, what is the word? Discontent. Ah. And discontent is actually not a bad thing. It's what uh, fuels artists to um, ah. achieve. And so, so I, so the engine of discontent for me was uh, built on need, urge, fury, and bustle because this engine runs on toil and hustle. Runs on toil and ah. Uh, absolutely love it. And this has that technique where you're talking about doing the hard shadows. You'd, yes. You'd sometimes you know paint in, but these are just like these hard shadows, which yeah, I'm gonna do know. on this guy. And does that come through uh, during your uh, like sort of coloring phase, kind of like later on, yep. right? Okay. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I should do it now, but I'm not going to, because then I'll, uh, I consider it part of the inking phase. Okay. But I want to get to color first. It's fine if I color over it. It's my yeah. it's my world. It's my piece. But it would make more sense to do it now. Jordan wants to know if you've ever do a, like a, a Where's Waldo illustration. No, a lot of people ask me that, and uh, I don't because the, if you look at the Where's Waldo illustrations, they're fun for what they are, but they're not very creative. It's just a bunch of mm. people. I don't like drawing people. I like to draw chunky things and anything I turn into a mouth or like a hanging eyeball, like, mm -hmm. you know. Or butts. Or Yours butts. Yours is like, where's, where are the butts? <laughs> it's it's not, like at least that's not right true. <laughs> oh, by uh, the way, I, I want to give a shout out to uh, my family. Rachel, Jonas, Asher. Oh, dang it. What's the name of my youngest? I can't remember. Ike. 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 That's named after idea. Ike Turner. That's I'm just kidding. It's, what's that? Oh, I don't know. Was that a joke? No, no, no. It's, I, I just know that he'll... He's little enough that he'll think it's funny, but also will hurt his feelings just a tiny bit. Oh, he'll be like, Dad, you know my name. <laughs> um, somebody does ask, and I, think, I don't think we've really addressed this. Why would you would you use Illustrator for this illustration, or why wouldn't you? Why would you use Photoshop over Illustrator in this in this specific case? Okay, so when I draw a line in Photoshop, like I kind of want to do this thing and like that and that, and then. You know, if I don't really want to boss it around, like all that stuff in Illustrator, you go like this, and it's like, oh, did you mean this? I'm like, no. Oh. I didn't mean the that. The accuracy. Yep. And the you can adjust the accuracy in Illustrator, but it's almost too accurate. Yeah, then it's, it's too accurate. It's almost too sloppy at some point. Yeah. So kind of dialing that in, and you're right, it does change the line after you're done drawing it. If you do that, it might go like this. Mm. It's too unpredictable. It's like dealing with somebody who's arguing with you, me. You know what we need to put in your hands what? is Fresco, Adobe Fresco. What's on that? On iPad. Oh, what is that? We'll talk later. Oh, yeah. I well, that we'll sounds like it. awesome. It's like literally just Tell drawing, me exactly. no. drawing on your iPad um, with all these same brushes and uh -huh. accuracy that you'd expect. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, totally. I think you would, I think you would like it. And I, yes, I would like I'm that. I'm just so excited about it. Especially it, being able to work on your iPad and then just end up right on your desktop, like almost sinking immediately. I feel like you're making all this up because it's exactly what I want to hear. Yeah. And no, this is I'm not planned, by the way. This is not like a Fresco plug. Like, yeah, it's not like we're reading from a script right down there. So tell me more yeah. about Fresco, Paul. Oh, so Fresco is a mobile app that allows you to uh, naturally draw uh, with vector and, uh, and raster. That sounds map. amazing. Yeah. How can I have Fresco, Paul? Well, it's not out yet, but we're building excitement for it by that... telling people like yourself and others. I am so excited. I cannot <laughs> wait to access Fresco. It is Fresco. really cool, though, because I think it's very perfect <laughs> for you because you were just talking about, like, you use Photoshop, you use Illustrator. Yeah. Fresco does does both, does vector, does raster. You can switch between the two. That sounds amazing, honestly. Um, yeah. I can't wait. No, uh, Adobe Fresco is a real app, by the way. It's just not a real app, <laughs> by the way. It's real, I swear to you. <laughs> yeah, I would just... Literally, I'll show it to you after this stream. I have it on my iPad, okay? That's rad. Don't let me forget. I'm excited. Yeah, I, I, you know, I love Photoshop, but I also feel like it's not archaic by any means, but I feel like it's time to 
move on to something that's a little, that helps my workflow a little more. Okay. So. Because for you and like a lot of illustrators, I saw Voodoo Val, welcome, good to see you Voodoo Val. Uh, amazing illustrator as well. Uh, uses Photoshop just like you do, uh -huh. probably doesn't use like most of the tools in it to be honest. Okay. Like I could imagine you don't use yes. a lot of the tools. I just needed to drop. You basically. just don't need to. Like, you, hey, I'm doing it. Give me a, a pencil-like thing. And by the way, when it comes to the brush, what are you using? Are you using anything special? Um, it is a Kyle brush that I've just tweaked a tiny bit, to, and I just call it Dave Arcade Main Inker. So sorry, Kyle. Oh. It's my brush now. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, starting with the Kyle brush and then. This is the only place to start. I don't, why would I start anywhere else, you know? Yeah. And that is money in my pocket. Is from... that Does that have any anti-aliasing on it? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. You see how kind of crazy. Because you also, you said you, you want to be able to select those insides in different parts. And that's typically why people want an anti-aliased. Or no, no, alien. Anti-aliased, that's right. No, wait. <laughs> Help me. What, what, what are you trying to figure out? Hard edged. Yeah, hard edge is is, um, is not anti aliasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I yeah. have it right. I just had to like. I don't no, know. I, I, I wasn't sure if I was. Sick. Yeah. Uh, oh jeez, I gotta turn. Does that look right? That's fine. I, yeah. Like it's making me crazy how this is thicker. I gotta fix it. Okay. Yeah. Do you do that? Otherwise, it's gonna be like, a, you know, yeah, might be bothering you. So yeah, I guess Gun. Gunaim is wondering if people do create their own brushes or if they modify. Honestly, I would, I don't make my own. No, I don't either. There's too, like so many people make great brushes and I just want to get to working. Yeah, you know? so. I agree. There's, there's, unless you really get into the, the weeds and need weeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you can make your own weed brush. Yeah. Weed uh, brush? Weed brush. Sounds like a Colorado thing. <laughs> <laughs> move this guy over a little bit. Yeah, and you can't beat free. Kushul, by the way, like we uh, finally sucked Kyle Webster into the mothership. We finally, he's now working for Adobe and it's, he's, the, he's the best guy ever. Yeah, he's Kyle great. Kyle Webster. I, I don't, I mean, he's, he's, he's on the East Coast, but. Yeah. I met him uh, the last time I was here by chance. Oh, you did? Because that's yeah. what I was going to ask, because there's a chance that he might be here this week. Yeah, uh, Christine calls sure. him Kyle Brush, and we were Kyle in Kyle Brush. We were in the, Kyle uh, Brush. We were in the, uh, the cafeteria area, <laughs> and she yells Kyle Brush, and I'm like, Yeah, that's a, I know he exists, and she's like, No, he's here, he's right there. And I was like, What? And so she introduced hey, me. Kyle to him. Brush. Yeah, this makes me laugh. She she called him that as we she approached him too. Me. She was like, Kyle, hey, Kyle Brush. Brush. Yeah, I know you have a last name. It doesn't matter. It doesn't Kyle matter. Brush. Kyle Webster Dictionary. <laughs> Kyle Brush. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, so she's probably having a blast at the Limp Bizkit uh, reunion tour. The what? The Limp Bizkit reunion tour, why she's not here right now. Yeah, she's in Cartagena, Colombia right now. Yeah, the Limp Bizkit reunion tour. Is that what she's on? <laughs> no. Oh, you're right, killing me. <laughs> I'm just mad at her for canceling, so that's that's my lie I made up. Uh, <clears throat> like, was she supposed to be here? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was going to host, and then she dropped out, and then... She would. She's busy traveling around the world. Yeah. Going on adventures. Yeah, she's had a crazy year. Um, so, Gunheim, uh, we are actually working on that, the whole fact that you might build and customize Photoshop. If IT comes in, or you have some sort of upgrade, how do you get everything back? How are you up and running as fast as possible? If, if what happens? So, we're working on that. Or is that a like question? He might, he might like, well, not, not really, but oh. in general, that's a problem people have. It's like IT comes in, you get a new computer or something, you, you need to upgrade Photoshop. Getting up to speed with all your specifics is a pain in the butt, and that's why sometimes people don't, don't like upgrade. Oh. So, but obviously with things cloud-based these days, you know, it will store your preferences locally, but what hap we, we would love to store those in the cloud. So it doesn't matter where you are, it'll automatically sync all your preferences and all your stuff. Oh, that's Probably cool. Probably gave away too much, but yeah. You don't even have to worry about it living on a hard drive somewhere of yours. The cloud. We're just gonna make this stuff dark. Uh, Noor Hosseini, that is a problem, or um, he's talking about how few layers you have, which is true. I think the big problem is making sure you're on the right layer. Yeah. Is that the biggest issue? Yeah, it's a little bit of a tightrope walk, but um, 
I get so annoyed with um, when I'm drawing and I need to erase something that's in the way, and then I, I click on one of the, because I'm too lazy to reach over to my mouse and right click, so I'm clicking on all, all the eyeballs trying to find it, and then I'll just like condense it down. Hmm. I treat it like it's a piece of paper, kind of. Yeah. I, I do not have a smart workflow, but uh, it doesn't matter because my pieces look fantastic when yeah, they're done. Yeah, they do. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say, man. <laughs> Even if somebody's like, hey, name your layers. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Actually, you have named your layers, by the way. I, I have. That was for you guys. So yeah. I didn't look like a complete hack. Yeah. But, you know, I have a love-hate relationship when people tell me what to do. It's the artist in me who's like, uh, no, guess what? <laughs> guess what? This is all going to be one flat image. I'm not even going to work on a layer. And guess what? I'm still going to get paid for it. Yep, well, that's, that's what right. I feel like. You know what? I got paid. That's right. What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you guys going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Not you guys. Sorry, we're being mean. <laughs> okay, so I, I, think, like... I think Steve's kind of done. I'm going to move on to yeah. the other thing. Is he done? Do you see him? Yeah, I think it looks fantastic. Okay. Yeah, screw you, um, Steve. I, wait, actually, t yeah, that looks like you. Okay. I'm gonna go the on. only thing, I mean, that, that little piece is missing. Oh, yeah, we can't. That's where the Apple logo went. We're not going to put the Apple logo in. But... You, just, you just punched a hole in it right there. Oh, I forgot about my little plug-in. Cool. Yeah, and I think it, you could either go on. Let's let's just do a time check really fast. Um, we're gonna do a chat and win in about five minutes. In about f an hour, we will do um, we'll do some challenge reviews. Okay. So you have you have basically like an an hour ish. Oh really? I should get the color. Thing. Well, no. I mean, you can you can kind of go further, like. Now is kind of a good stopping point, but you're doing awesome. Who am I, man? I'm just you're, you're in the famous. peanut gallery, just hanging out. I mean, you can oh. you can tell how famous somebody is by Googling them. I Googled Paul, and Google Images does not stop forever with this guy's face. It's just like, yeah. goes on and on and on. Huh. And I was like, so okay, that's who I'm hosting with. This guy yeah. is known. The person is. <laughs> Yeah, you know, let me tell you about Flash. This is probably videos. Hey, let me go show you some Flash. Come show you Flash. Show you how to, you know, Macromedia Director. Let me show you how to make CD-ROMs. You know, you're you're funny too. I don't think everyone's funny, and it's kind of sad because I might laugh really hard at like what somebody else is saying, and someone else will talk, and I'll be like, you know, not funny. And I I, I, I I let it show. I can't yeah. help it. But you're a funny <laughs> dude. Thanks, man. Just gotta keep it. It's, you, can, you, you don't deal with compliments very well, do you? No, I'm more like, oh, in four minutes we have chat and win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give people compliments. It is interesting, though. It's like, it's interesting where you find some people just hilarious. Yes. Just naturally, like, and they're not even trying to be funny sometimes. Yes. Like, some people just kill me. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good times. And what? comments that we sometimes get in, like, I'm just, like, amazing it. If you ever need, um, recommendations for like say language or anything I think chat is usually really good at language what do you mean just uh, like if you needed a phrase or something to call this piece they're really good at you know kind of oh gotcha something, something out there so yeah I have a friend uh, Seth King if you're out there funniest dude yeah I know yeah he has an Instagram account called late notes you guys should check it out late notes yeah he writes uh, he he started writing late notes for his children for school as like a really like a here's a late note, but they're always ridiculous. Like I was abducted by a milkman and blah, 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 whatever. And, <clears throat> but that dude is just so funny. And every time I see him, he cracks me up. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you guys are too kind. And do we have any Voodoo steeds Bell. in the, the chat yet? Any steeds? Steeds. They're my, I, uh, the steeds of midnight. Official shout out. My friends, we call ourselves the Steeds of Midnight. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And uh, they're not artists at all. Um, but they said that they have all signed up on Behance to be in chat today. Oh, nice. One of them's a lawyer, for hell's sake. For heck's sake. Really? Yeah. Well, my friends aren't we artists. high-powered friends. I, I, I don't like being around people that... There's one, Mark Wilkes. He calls me, uh, you guys, uh, any of you guys watch Schitt's Creek? Oh, uh, yeah. So he calls me David, like Moira. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Do we make too many He's... pop culture references? I don't know if no, it's no, okay. No. no, you totally can. Okay. I mean, yeah, you're totally good. Yeah, shit. Into what you're interested in. and. I just didn't know if it was like a copyright thing. No, I mean, we do, you can't, I don't know if you should come in like full on NASCAR, s sponsored by. So I am sponsored by Nike. I'm just kidding. You I'm, are sponsored by Meow Wolf today, actually. Guys. Represent. If you haven't been to Meow Wolf in Santa Fe, you should go. There it is. <laughs> they need it though. They were a Kickstarter. So what I'm yeah. doing right now, guys, I'm drawing bones. And I gotta tell you, when I was sketching this stuff, it was hard. Like how do bones lock together, you know? Yeah. And I had to look it up. And so a lot of the times when I'm drawing, I will, um, if I don't know how to draw something, I will study it. Like, like uh, in the matrix, you know, like I know Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. it, I've studied things for three days when I have a tight schedule, but I would have wasted that time if I did not take the time to study out the way something looks or works. You usually style. like some, find some photo references and just kind of draw it. That's how this goes, draw, draw. Yep. Like, and that's perfect, especially something like with bones, with, with faces and things that aren't gonna change. You learn yeah. how to draw a face, one, well, I make it sound easy, yeah. but you know what I'm saying. Totally. It's not like you, you learned how to draw bones once and now you know for yeah. any project that comes along, even though you had to t take time to learn how to, yeah, it's how a, to draw. Yeah, like, I've drawn bones, but they just, uh, I've never had to lock them together like this, and kind of was a little frustrating, but once I figured it out, it was, it was great. Then I realized I didn't need to draw bones, but that's a whole other story. Yeah, it's pretty fascinating. I, I was gonna make this a skull, and these were gonna be eyes, and I was like, what? A skull does not have a bone frame, it's a skull. <laughs> but. No, I like it, I like this framework, it's just, like, it just totally works. Yeah. Into it. Very nice. I don't want to say none of the steeds are artists. Mark Wilkes is actually a fantastic writer. Ah. And Chris Barber is one of the best guitar players on planet Earth. It's just uh, uh, Nate, I think, is works in finance, and Will is a, is a lawyer. Wow. Yeah, and Will so. likes all genres of music, which we try to steer him away from. You can't like all genres. <laughs> Does he really like all genres, or he does like, he just say it? He'll he'll take a screenshot of the radio, and it's like Hootie and the Blowfish, and he'll take a screenshot, and it's like California Love. It's like, dude, you can't have a range like I that. I like it. I'm kind of <laughs> jealous. Okay. I'm also jealous of what we're diving into right now. It's time for Chat and Win, everybody. Tell us your favorite band. Go. Welcome back everyone. It's time for Chat and Win. All that means is you just say something in chat. We, we usually give you a topic or something just so we know that you're paying attention. And again, you're not a cat walking on a keyboard. Um, so yeah, looking, Odessa, favorite band, Pink Floyd. Yes, Tycho. Uh, Tycho, great artist too. Great, Led Zeppelin, great greatest band of all time. Led Zeppelin, Daft Punk, into it. Talked about them for a little bit. Yesterday. Justice TV is great. TV on the radio, good call. We're silently judging everybody's based on the choices. The Love the wow, killers. Look at all these. Love poison. I just like everybody. Like, oh yeah, I like somebody said firehouse. Firehouse. Holy cow! <laughs> a couple of Evanescence. I was, I remember saw them in concert back in the day. We got some Red Hot Chili Pink Peppers. Yeah. Beck. Yeah. Big congratulations to Tazwiz Design. Nice. Tazwiz Design. Congratulations. You've won stickers from Sticker Mule. So congratulations. You got. 100 free uh, die cut stickers. That's so awesome. we will contact you through Behance, just so you know. Um, and yeah, you win 100 stickers. So congratulations, just for hanging out, just for, you know, just a way for us to say thank you. Everybody else, you go check that out. 10 stickers for uh, like a buck by using that uh, URL above. So we have somebody make something cool like Dave here. Like have it dummy. Out. That's me, by the way, dummy. What's that? Oh. Dummy. That's, ah, that's me. You're you're just silly. Somebody, you pick on yourself too much. But that's my thing. Okay. To be self-deprecating. I don't. I don't I, which is such a good. It just shows how much confidence you have in yourself when you're self-deprecating. Like, like the most insecure thing you can do is <clears throat> brag about how awesome you are. Yes, exactly. So, like, if I say that I do something well, I'm I'm pretty. I'm being sincere about it. I can draw. 
Okay. That's about it. Um, but yeah, people told me like, dude, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I'm like, Don't, not, that's terrible advice. Yeah, and you, you, I mean, you know that you're kidding about it all. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. I'm not gonna go, you know, do something about it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, somebody said Nickelback. That, whoever yeah. you are, you're a brave soul. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but also I will say that like Nickelback is the number one top selling Canadian band ever. Yeah, I was in Canada when they got their hit and they are beloved. Yeah, so like don't discount all of their gold al platinum albums. Like you can't, they're fun to pick on. They're like yes. with Creed. Yeah. They're fun to pick on, but you know what? He's laughing at you because he's living in a mansion, doesn't care. I, I, I agree you know with you. I, I agree. And the thing is, I read an article years ago about somebody from AV Club who was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to a Nickelback concert and a Creed concert, and I'm gonna see if you're all wrong. And he described the singer for Creed as having a voice that sounds like a low flying F-14, and he <laughs> said Nickelback actually rocked his socks off. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, wow. Not that I'm a fan. <laughs> I say you be a fan. No, I, I, I can't. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, you, whatever it is, you be a fan. Like, I don't care, oh, just yeah, own yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? I mean, my favorite band of all time, this pisses people off, is U2. Really? Yeah, people are like, U2, can you pick somebody who's more original? It's like, shut up. Yeah, you like U2. I've cried drived to that band more than any other band. <laughs> I have a friend who <laughs> says the funniest thing he said, uh, have you ever been listening to a song when you're driving? and it makes you cry, and then you try to rewind it to relive the moment, and it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to tickle yourself or something. Yeah. You can't do it. You can't do it, it All just right. comes. This is gonna hit ya, man, that U2, that, you know, with or without you. It's a and great song. Like, you're missing your kids, and let's not get you all choked up, I'm sorry. No, but. do you know what's really funny about you saying that, is huh. I was getting packed, I was still in my underwear, and I, I put that song on Alexa, and my wife danced with me in our kitchen in front of our kids to that song while I was still oh, getting packed. Oh, that's so sweet. So that's Killed a couple me. Days ago. Yeah. So, that's so sweet as you drop bones and guts in a, <laughs> in a computer. <laughs> Wouldn't this be the... We are really dealing with emotion on it. This is a, your emotion expressed visually. This no. would be the worst <laughs> guitar pedal to own. Just like yes. gently stomping on it. It's like, that's a heart right there. I don't want to <laughs> break it. In fact, after I, I, I uh, ink this... Friends, I'm gonna start coloring because we're not gonna get there otherwise. So I need to stop jabbering. <laughs> ah. I feel like I feel like a lot of people are gonna be listening to Nickelback today. Just like, <laughs> just like, yeah, you know, and you too. Like, yeah, you two yeah, one yeah. greatest song ever written. Hey, Luciani from Colombia, good to have you here. We we're just talking about that earlier. What 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 did Luciani say? Uh, Christine Arth uh, just lives there. Oh yeah. Um, Curious as to where, but if it's not one of three places, I probably, probably not gonna do me any good. <laughs> you ever do that? Hey, where are you from in India? Oh, I only know one place in yeah. India. <laughs> yep. Find myself doing that all the time. <laughs> You've been to a lot of places, right? Yeah, I have, and I've been to, I've been to Colombia a lot. What do you just for Adobe? Uh, for Adobe, and then I've gone there for fun, just because it's an awesome place. And yeah. I like places that are not, uh, you know. It's, What's your Not favorite place of, that you've ever visited? I like out of out of the out of the Americas. I would say Colombia, mm -hmm. um, and then also we were talking about Japan yesterday. That's top of everybody's radar. I really like Morocco yep. as well, because um, Morocco is like right across from Spain there, so it's very. It's kind of like a little bit of a melting pot if you take a look at Tangier and sure. some of those northern cities. What about the U.S.? Oh, you said. Uh, I don't know, did I? Like, I would say Portland, and it just it kind of depends on the year, but I hate it when people, I think uh, San Diego as well. San Diego's rad. I love yeah. San Diego. And Portland is maybe the best laid out city in the world. It's yeah. just so, like, dense with cool places to go just walking around. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's like good food. Everybody's pretty pretty chill there. I mean, they're kind of dealing with some political stuff, but in general, they're chill. You know, everybody They're kind of unchill pretty, right now, in fact. They are totally unchill right now. <laughs> but, but overall, I feel like, yeah, it's chilling. You know, more breweries and technically strip clubs per capita. Wow. You know. But Portland, you, you need to chill out, okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you want us to do? Like, <laughs> come on. Like, you have, there's no reason to not be chill at this it's, point. Yeah, <laughs> we all have iPhones. Like, everything's pretty good. We can watch shows wherever we want. 
time to chill. Oh, Voodoo Val. She's been in a lot of places too, like Walmart and the Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I like Voodoo, Voodoo Val, Val. You're awesome. You could go lots of places if you wanted to, but she's she's hilarious. Voodoo Val. So I need to check out Voodoo Val. Apparently. Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, she's done uh, daily creative challenges. She's hosted. She's like fantastic. I actually think I know this person. Because I, I went through right. episodes when my eyes on last time, and uh, I'm pretty sure I looked at Voodoo Val stuff. She was a, was it like a sort of a, she was a periwinkle like elven uh, lady on Friday for her, because she just wow. finished uh, finished a daily creative challenge for Photoshop last week. Oh, that's cool. And she was, she brought Photoshop to the real world. She was covered, ears. Oh, really? Fantastic. Yep. She, she brought it into the physical realms. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like saying realms, you know? It makes you sound like you're from a time. Yeah. And she would take that as a compliment because she'd be she's very much into the fantasy type stuff. She's like, yeah. realms is ex appro perfectly appropriate. Yeah. So keep in mind, about 50 minutes, we'll give you some design feedback on day one of the Creative Challenge. So you guys can see I'm scooting through this organic stuff. So much more fun to draw. I, yeah. I swear I'm, I'm more into drawing it than I am into concepting or like, Having a reason to have it in one of my pieces, it's just fun. What a, you sometimes draw a line and it disappears. It does? Well, yeah. Or yeah. are you talking about like if we I- We do like a shortcut. You have a shortcut key set up on your, oh, that's oh. On, your, on your Wacom pen. Yeah, my undo okay. is right there, which okay, is a terrible place stylus. to have it. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, if you want to not use the snooze button, put your uh, alarm far away from you, I should not have my undo right there. Because sometimes I don't, like it's, watch this. It's like, too easy to- like, that's fine, but for some reason, something in my brain would be like, no, do it again. Interesting. So, I don't know, I'm obsessive, ah, there's one, obsessive about it. Ooh, yeah, that's a good question. Voodoo Val is wondering, like, who inspires you as other, like, artists and illustrators? Um, who do you kind of keep an eye out for? So, I would say, like, the guts and organic stuff comes from Nichos, and I really, really like his stuff. Um, how do you spell it? How's that? Uh, like nachos, but instead of an A, you use a Y, nachos. He's a graffiti artist and, and kind of made me realize that uh, there's a couple things that happened. A long time ago, James White, otherwise known as Signal Noise, mm -hmm. um, when I was a young man, uh, said something that was profound to me, but doesn't sound that profound. He was responding to somebody who said, like, why, why do you draw what you draw? Like, where, does, where do your ideas come from? And he said, you know what? I just draw stuff that I think is cool. And I was like, damn, that's it. Like, you just gotta draw the things you're into. Like, draw what you know, right? Yeah. Meme what you know. That's very much him, too. Yeah. You know, draw some of this, because he's he like, probably he's a pretty dude. cool guy. Yeah, he is a cool guy. You know, cool, just decked out like leather, just like cool guy, but like yep. the nicest guy ever, huh? Yeah. He's like super nice. He, uh, I, I, I think mean, so. I think he is. No, I, I, you've probably met him. I have yeah. never met him. Yeah. Um, but I was, I'm in his Discord because um, he was streaming on Twitch for a little bit. And it was so rad because I, I dropped a piece in there and James responded and he was like, this is awesome. And I was like, what a compliment, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I've, I've chatted with him about stuff. Um, another guy who's not around anymore and I don't know why, his name is Alex Veronese, was a huge influence on me. Um, but uh, going way back, my, my, my real influence is like Chuck Jones who did uh, all the Looney Tunes stuff, uh, Popeye, um, not Chuck Jones didn't do Popeye, but Popeye is a huge influence. All the cartoons I watched growing up, Thundercats and uh, mm -hmm. Voltron, um, MC okay. Escher, huge influence on me. That's kind of where I, I like why I have to come up with ideas. Mask, he, do you remember Mask? That the movie. Cartoon? The cartoon. Oh, I thought you meant the movie. I was like. There's the, ma but M-A-S-K. Yeah, so Mask was like great. So it's like a Transformers knockoff. Yes, totally, best but toys. I like some of those, in, like uh, sort of, um, that's sort of like second tier type yeah. shows. Yes. Like Thundar the Barbarian, speaking of old cartoons. I've written a whole thing about his about how stupid Thundar is, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I watched Love that. Love it. Yep. There I was don't also... care how dumb it is. It's, it was part of your childhood. Oh, it yeah. It was probably awesome to you. <laughs> well, it was, I was, it was just about his sword. His sword compared to, so I did a, I wrote a thing on 80s cartoon swords. Oh, really? Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> how random. <laughs> yeah, and Thunder, I just bag on it. Do you? It's not a great sword, but it's, it was a cool show. Lone you know, Star. You, you know what else had a cool, started out as a cool sword and lost its way is uh, He-Man. 
Yeah. His was the splits. You put them together, and then you had the power of Grayskull back in the day, like when it was an no, original. No, that's a film. different guy. You're thinking of a different. No, dude. I'm not thinking of a different guy. Okay, I think this you is are. The very beginning, but there it might be. There might be a similar storyline. Yes. For. Are you thinking of someone else? No, I did a lot of research on this. I know exactly who you're talking about, but I can't remember who it is. Because when you when I got or I had he the original. Go like this. Okay. But the original He-Man, like you bought him, and it, the toy actually had these little parts, and you put them the swords together, and made one complete sword. Chat, I don't think this is true, but we're gonna I, we're gonna I go will, along I with will, it. I will bet my other <laughs> coffee on it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's saying a lot. But yeah, you might. You, I think it's. I think we're both right, to be honest with you. Yeah. Even though that's impossible. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, I, I, what I'm saying is, there's probably more than one. There. Yeah. Oh, t totally, Paul. Like, it's fine. You got it, man. No, we're not going to let it go. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, oh, so, uh, the, uh, Kash Kashish, you kind of talked a bit, little bit about this, composing your detailed pieces in your portfolio. Um, what's, what's Do up? you plan them beforehand, or do you make separate elements and then combine them together? Because... Oh, uh, like when I'm when I'm posting. Yeah, uh, just when you start to start to compile and kind of sketch out your ideas. Is it one complete piece, or you did take? I don't know. Is it more free form as you go along? Sorry, I'm confused. Like uh, with with my actual composition, when I'm done, and then I want to put it on Behance or something. Uh, no, your actual composition, oh. like this actual art piece. Yeah. So I just I just look at like so I start with the perspective grid, whether it's isometric or uh, something like uh, the piece we're looking at earlier for Big Cartel. And I just start to populate it with this rule of large, medium, and small, which again comes from the Etherting, Etherington brothers, which is this. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna make something like uh, like a, I don't know, like we'll just use a little dude again. Like if you're gonna make a little guy, large, medium, small. But I, I apply that all over the canvas. So, um, so if I'm doing a piece say like this is my real estate right here. Mm -hmm. I'll literally just be like, okay, I'm gonna put something huge right here, something smaller right here, something smaller right that here. That is such a good, that's yeah. such good advice. Yeah, it really helps. And then it gives it rhythm. And then I, then I start to, well, obviously if I have an idea from the client, then I kind of know what these pieces are gonna be. But if I don't, then I start to look at old equipment. And I'm like, oh, okay, we'll make this like this little thing right here. And mm -hmm. this can be like a fanny pack and, and then, but my fanny pack's gonna have teeth. So I use a lot of like, oh, this looks like. Oh, okay. You know, if, you know, I'm doing something with like a belt buckle or whatever, like obviously that's gonna be like a mouth with a tongue and eyes. That's fast, that's awesome. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, but then from there, the, the last layer is how do I make this a story? So I kind of go backwards. I don't start with the story first because if I do, then it dictates the pieces I can put in and I'd rather put the pieces I want in and then fit it into a story. Okay. And I think the big the big thing that you mentioned is like sort of establishing hierarchy is kind of weird. Yes, Even exactly. though it kind of looks like, it doesn't look like chaos, It's there's a lot going on. Yeah. But you've established a rhythm on what you, your primary or secondary tertiary type reads. Yep. If you will. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, that's very good. And we're gonna pump that up. Oh wow, we're done with those pieces all of a sudden. Cool. Oh, I'm into it. Okay, so I think there's a few more things I'm gonna start coloring. Uh, so yeah, is that a is that a tw is this the 24 inch Paco uh, Wacom or 22 inch HD Wacom? So it's a mother to bring in your carry on. I would Sorry. never, I love drawing on this thing, but gosh, I like to draw um, like this. I'm usually drawing like this in mine. So you can't even see me, guys. I sit right here like this. Go, whoosh, whoosh. Hmm. And this would cover up my computer monitor. Unless you guys want to give this to me, I'm not going to argue. Oh, I can have it? <laughs> oh, thanks, Paco. <laughs> we definitely need to hook you up with Fresco, though. Because that's yes. the way of like, having this iPad like on your lap. You were, you were kind of watching The Office, but it's just so much more chill. Yeah, man. And that's not that's not like the Photoshop that's coming to iPad. No. It's not. totally it's, different? It wow. is different, yeah. That is exciting. Yeah, so somebody mentioned Photoshop for the iPad. Yes, that is that is coming, just FYI. When is that coming? I mean, it's, um, yeah, I can't, we're still working on it, so I don't have an answer for you. Sorry. Oh. But last year at Max, we did say coming in 2019. 
Okay. So, oh, I just got a text from you. Oh, it's oh, coming. Was, oh, it's oh, coming in a month. Yeah, that's what I just sent. Hey, <laughs> my hand's been up here the whole time. <laughs> Whoa, easy, Keanu, you're going nuts. Did set? Did you fall asleep on your keyboard? <laughs> Ouch. Keanu, you are. We get it. Somebody wants attention. <laughs> he just put his hand down. He's talking to somebody. He's like, no, I'm just watching the stream right now. Can you get back to work, please? What? Keanu dropped his keyboard. <laughs> So, Anna, we're, we're not sure on Fresco. Fresco, uh, let's be honest, Fresco will come before Photoshop. I'll just say that. Fresco's, oh, okay. even if you look at the two, like, look at the amount of content out there, Fresco's, m like, much more baked than uh, than Photoshop. And the deal with Photoshop, like, I want it today as well, but it's like you're taking 30 years worth of technology yeah. and trying to cram it on an iPad. It's going to take time. Even when it gets released, just to set expectations, like everything isn't going to be there, right? Yep. And honestly, I didn't. I don't really need. I, I want everything, but realistically, do I need everything? It's more about, again, transitioning. Even if you're on a uh, using Fresco, transitioning from uh, you know drawing on your couch, and then having that same file opening up in Photoshop, yep. and then completing it because I want that bigger screen to kind of work on all these little details to really like zoom in on things. Is that's that's how I've been working on it. Yeah, I want it to be, so Procreate is great, but if you notice, the things that people draw on there are low commitment. It's like, I'll draw like a guy standing next to a river. That's as much as I can kind of mm. do on this thing. I would never do a mural on it because I have like two layers I could use once I get the canvas size I want. So okay. Photoshop is more powerful in that regard where it's like, no, you can commit to doing a lot on this. Yeah. And then I'll be stoked. Yeah. Oh man, like I, I need to understand how they are able to pull off me opening up a huge file, a PSD on my iPad. Yeah. Like having this latest iPad, huh, it's just, it's so impressive. And again, you're like, it's a PSD. It's not a different file format. There's no yeah. conversion or anything like that, so. Yeah. Kind of uh, fun. But yeah, it's it's interesting. I th that's that's the area where I really feel like they could, they could um, tackle Procreate. And get Is people the from file handling and size and stuff like that. Yeah, and layers and like make something big on this. Like you don't have to just draw like a little flower and then time lapse it and put it on Instagram. I almost feel like mm -hmm. Procreate is like here is a thing. It's like a show off app to to time lapse and throw on Instagram because the stuff mm. I see people do on it, and it's not knocking you guys out there, but draw something cooler. Like yeah. like stop making like little tiny cute things like like an Xbox logo and putting <laughs> it on Instagram just so you can yeah. be like look at me. Yeah. How do you like that? Whoosh! <laughs> you just got punched. <laughs> this is why I'll never be famous because I would use it to talk smack. But I like that. <laughs> Grew up watching 80s wrestling. Gotta so, talk smack. Oh yeah, Kerwin, just to clarify, no, Fresco Files, to be honest with you, I don't even know what... The answer is I don't know what Fresco Files are, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. They're not the PSDs. Like Photoshop and the iPad, those are definitely PSDs. Oh, thank you, Norther F. Oh, you just made that up. Why am I doing that? I'm believing everybody. <laughs> if it's in chat, I believe them. Oh, oh, if it's in chat, I guess it's true. <laughs> what were they saying? Oh, they're FSGs. Oh, FSGs. I'll do that sometimes at a presentation. I'll, <laughs> hey, everybody's on the same page. Everybody knows what a QXML file is. <laughs> it's like, doesn't exist. <laughs> gotcha. You thought you knew. Uh. See, that's when I was, when I was telling you the, word, the hotel I was staying at, I was joking around. It's the same thing. I'm just lying yeah. for fun. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? Oh yeah, so there we go. Sa Samuel says the same thing, sort of even drawing and procreate, sort of st uh, starting there and then ending up on your desktop in yeah. Illustrator or Photoshop. Yeah, you could. I, I just, and that's fine, especially if you're like going, um, if you're drawing at like a coffee shop or something, which I should do more often. Um, but yeah, like if I'm at home, I'll just start where I'm gonna finish. But it is nice that you can do that. I love the Apple Pencil, it's great. Yes. You know what it is though? The, the coding on the Wacom screens, Wacom screens, I really dig it. The, the coding? Yeah. The, oh, the, the coating. Okay, the coating, gotcha. yes, the coating. The coating. And that, that makes a big difference because you're going to end up giving, probably needing a screen protector. 
yep. of some sort just to give it a little bit more tooth. Yeah, I uh, when I met Kyle Brush, um, he was with somebody who introduced me to Paper Lake. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Yeah, I think I did. I get. I haven't gotten Paper Lake for this one, but I had it with my old iPad. How do you like that new iPad? Uh, yeah, I yeah I love it. I think it's awesome, especially with this keyboard and everything. Uh, it's I, like a computer. Oh man, and I, I'm not kidding. Like I have a build of Photoshop on here and it is like the it's amazing just being able to go to a coffee shop with this and just like knock something out I'm like wow that is cool I had no idea I could actually do this I'm kind of jealous like, yeah. I don't know we're gonna do color now guys because I don't want to keep drawing ooh we're gonna end a color that's perfect timing as well 36 minutes before we uh, kind of review some of the designs from day one of the Photoshop challenge So one of the ugliest colors I use is this one right here. But I need it because I use a lot of yellow. Uh, I think technically it's Wacom is, is the yeah. correct way to say it. Yes. I say Wacom because I'm an idiot, but it's Wacom. Yeah. That's fine if I'm, if I'm an idiot, guys. I get to say it. Yeah. I would probably pronounce it differently just to annoy people who uh, would feel the need to correct you. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, it's actually Wacom. I'd say, well, okay, so the Wacom <laughs> purposely just to annoy those people because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know like, what I'm talking about. But if you want to get into specifics, sure. <laughs> so I'm just, uh, I kind of did a color palette last night and I am looking at my reference right now. This and is fascinating. Dropping Cute. those colors in. If you guys want to see where I'm going with this. Oh man, that's on the wrong layer. That's my color layer. Get out see, of here. there we go. I agree with Michael. Oh, Wacom sounds cooler than Wacom. I agree. Yes, that's why I say it. Wacom sounds like Wacom. Yeah, know? it just sounds like, kind of silly. At uh, least in yeah. US English. Like, like why would you name your company that? And this is, let's, as Nor says, let's just say Wassum. Wasom. It's Wassum! <laughs> you made that on the Wacom? It's Wassum. You know what? Um, okay, no. And this is interesting. As you get into colors, this is just fascinating. So if I go back. Can't you detach this? What's that? Like, can I pull this off of here? You can make a separate, oh gosh, I get it mixed up with Illustrator. Cause you're right in Illustrator, you can pull it off. Yep, we're gonna edit this toolbar. I love this by the way. Get rid of my uh, gradient tool because I need the paint bucket tool. So then when I go to G, there we go. Whoa, Rainbow Town up top. Rainbow Town. We need that. Okay, oh, that's not gonna affect me. What is happening? So I have that, and if I hit G, why does my paint bucket tool respond to What are you to trying to do? Oh. So I want, I, w I don't want, um, I don't want the gradient tool to be activated when I tap G, I want the paint bucket tool to be activated. You might need to remap it then. Oh, really? So like go up? Yeah. Keyboard shortcuts? Keyboard shortcuts. And then, Tools. And then go to like the, and then delete shortcut. Paint. Paint, there you are. No, that's material. Paint bucket, where are you? Little guy? Oh. There oh. it is. Uh, oh, I guess I could just use U. <laughs> you know what? That's but you might be... as well, G. Do, do it's what's gonna... natural to you. Dang it, it's gonna be handier actually to use U. Okay. Because it's right next, ah, I'm so dumb, okay. Got it, I think this is, uh, yeah. Oh, that's why it's doing that, 60%, okay. We're good, we're back. Um, how often do you make, like, vector murals? Um, like where I just uh, work completely in vector? Uh, yeah, or at least need to get, do you ever need to get something into vector format for projects? Yes, 
Um, I usually do this, what I'm doing now, and then I vectorize it okay. through a tool that's not Adobe. So Yeah, I'd, I'll just switch to it really fast, because you. this is what you're referring to, right? Vector magic? Yep. Yeah, so again, this is what it does. Sort of raster to vector, yeah, roughly. But you, you know, you you swear by it. You, yeah, you, I, you, I swear by it. It 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 works better than Live Trace. I can't use Live Trace. Okay. I'd rather just. In fact, I'm kind of to a point where I'm not sure if this company's going to keep supporting this. If you're out there, Vector Magic, email me back. Okay. And uh, and so I will make something massive in Photoshop where the resolution can never be compromised and do exactly what I'm doing. Because this will look fine in print. I mean, this thing's like 18 by 18 at 300 DPI. If I ever need to make a poster out of it, it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Murals, yeah, I can, I can start. A, I can. Uh, Photoshop lets you make huge files, like mm -hmm. uh, dimensionally. So I'll do that as well, without you know worrying about anything. If that makes sense, guys. But it is nice to have it in vector. I do that just because I like the way it bakes the lines. All smoothly. Okay. Uh, so, Arter Studio mentions something about you know getting an iPad, selling his DSLR, getting an iPad, doing twenty layer work. Right now, we've been talking about Photoshop for the iPad, which is not out yet. Yeah. So when you say twenty layer work, what app are you talking about? Um, I'd wait for Photoshop or iPad to come out. I, I will say that I'm literally working on a file that is. 188 layers. It's about a gig. Holy cow! And, On your iPad? And I will. No, no, no. Oh. It's just. But I'm gonna. I'll literally. Um. I'm gonna be able to open this up on my iPad, just so you know. Okay. I'll literally show it to you. That is super so. dope. Okay. Don't do that. What are you doing? Like that should be filling, right? Oh, it's white. Good job. <laughs> That's a good point. Do you ever like turn on just transparency background, or I guess you don't really need to. Uh, transparency back. Uh, where or you just, see like the little squares? That's yeah. too distracting for me. Makes me want to cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I think these are gonna be dark red. I'm gonna do another color here. I think we'll do. Well, let's take another color here. We'll take a little bit of. A, and you're on the correct layer, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Just. No, that's good. Good call. I'm actually gonna lock these up. Take a little sky Great idea. blue and make those like that. Who's Krang? I feel like I should know. Krang. Uh, Krang is is uh, the villain from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, that's right. His the stomach. brain. Yeah. Or, I, Krang is a huge influence on me. Like this okay. stuff I'm doing here, that, uh, that's a good example of organic and mechanic. Okay. Crang. Nice. Man, I'm not a huge fan of that. Well, actually it's not bad. You know what, this will help. We're gonna change the color here. And Thank we, you, Samuel. Crang, I knew. You want like a cream or, a, or an orange right here might be nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you have a pretty good eye. F I feel like you have a pretty good eye for color. Like, Thanks. Which is a whole other skill set, I almost feel. You know, like one thing to draw and render things, and then color is like. Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm way into break. color. I love it. Oh, wait a minute. I guess I'll just have to deal with that. Um, I want the two to be a different color, so it reads as Steve too. Ah, would you do black? Yeah, maybe, it might or, stay black. Or both maroon, I don't know. You know, I'm just gonna do what I'd do if I was at my house. Rasterize this layer. Everybody really appreciates your honesty and frankness, <laughs> by the way. Um, I am nothing. Even down to your love for uh, Nickelback. I don't love, I don't joking, love Nickelback. If you're just tuning in now. You too, yes. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, such a favorite U2 album? Uh, Octung Baby. Cool. It's such a well-written album. Every song on that album is good. It's a perfect album, except for Mysterious Ways, but it's a fantastic song uh, nonetheless. I like, uh, is it Zuropa? Yeah, Zuropa, uh, Zuropa's the one that came after that, which I also love. Yeah. So if we take this, this will become, merge that. At the end of the day, a lot of these become huge murals, right? Uh, sometimes, yes. Or sometimes. Yeah. You know, so you might not be the one printing them. Uh, no. Uh, what do how you do mean? they get printed, actually? Like a huge mural? I don't even know how they do that. Uh, it's a large format printer that prints it like 200 DPI, and the most it will do is like 25,000 pixels or something like that. So beyond that, um, it doesn't even matter resolution. Hmm. Um, but, oh, that got moved. Uh, it's the, if I'm doing it locally, it's this company called Fusion Imaging, and uh, they, they are great, and they install also. Um, I have this insecurity that I don't paint them myself, like an actual muralist is like, he doesn't even paint it himself, but I do all the drawing, okay? Oh yeah, it's fine. I don't I'm looking care. at you, actual muralists. <laughs> Could probably draw just as good as you, maybe. <laughs> Except for Night Jones. that guy is on a different planet, oh, for man. real. Dude, yeah, it's good. Posted his uh, Instagram. I worked with him on a Nickelodeon project years ago. He did a dissected SpongeBob, and he did it in a week, and it was bananas. Really? Yeah. Is he the one that? Because that was a, that's a thing, or it was a thing for a bit. Like, who is the, is he the artist that does the dissected cartoon characters? Yeah. Oh, yep. okay. Yep. Yep. Got it. Uh, oh, wait a minute, there's a few of them that do that, but he, like, uh, Steve, or Fr somebody Freeney makes toys that are dissected. Um, dang it, that's not the color I want, I keep doing that. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll do that for now. That looks pretty, that's kind of the crappy look I'm going for. This needs to be different, though. This needs to be like a orange or something. Like, we're going for Breaking Bad Winneb Winnebago Stripes. Kinda. <sighs> Gosh. Would you do an orange? Oh yeah, you do. You would do an orange. Yeah, but look at it's not really. This yellow is just so hard to manage. It's such a gnarly color, but. It is very retro. Like I, yeah. as you get into that mustard color. Yeah, that's kind of what we're going for. You know, even just lightening it a little bit or giving it. Oh. Maybe that cream was the way to go. Yeah, it doesn't matter like what shade we're in, it's just gonna have to go darker. Maybe it's something crazy. So I, I do this thing that uh, I just make another layer. It's not the fastest way to do it, but it's the way I do it. Love that either. I'm just gonna go cream. We don't have time for this crap. <laughs> yeah, the uh, yeah that neon green is. I had orange right. in my comp. It kind of uh, well, it's doing the same thing. Oh, you know what? I'm not treating the orange like it's in shadow. That's what's going on. Because orange wouldn't be orange. It would be like be almost brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> brown. This is gonna be so 70s. There how we you, go. How are you filling that color so fast? Um, What's the shortcut key you're using? Uh, command or option delete. Option delete fills with foreground color. Uh huh. Yep. Option delete. Yep. In fact, you know what I should do is I should go like this and use my color overlay. That's why I have it. And yeah. Bam. There we go. I, I agree, Jordan. I think yellow is a tough is a tough color to work with. I mean, it you're is. doing a great job, but. It is. That's, I kind of chose it to, as a challenge why why I would do that. It still harkens back to the beige-type computers, which yes. is why I like it, but that's it's obviously I'm, not beige. Yeah, I didn't want to go beige. That's exactly why I'm doing it. Um, I didn't want to go beige, but I am trying to harken back to it. And I also want to show that you can use kind of these ugly colors to hmm. um, produce uh, feel. You know, like I'm going for 70s for sure. 
yeah, Artur Studio, we can tell you love yellow. Your, your little uh, uh, avatar is just a yellow circle. So <laughs> Look yeah, at that. we could tell. <laughs> But it's a tough color because it's so intense. It's, it has to be the most intense of the colors. It is. If you use too much of it, it can dominate. And it totally will. This I might end up changing the color of this later on uh, for that reason, but we'll see. Ah. <sighs> This is fun. This part's fun because you just, you know, it's like you're, you're just painting, like you're. Yeah. It's like paint by number. Yeah, it is. I really enjoy this this part of it. It's the it's the most fun part. It's where I I feel like I got ahead of every, <clears throat> everyone in the race, and I'm just like sprinting at my fastest, you know, like mm -hmm. trying to make make up for time. Whatever I'm saying, I don't know. Black is helpful. I love using black just to fill stuff in. Okay, then. Have you ever spent time with Blender? Blender 3D? Um, I've spent a little time with it. I, I want to learn it, but it. I'm waiting for Blender to like have a render engine that's like Octane, and then I'm all over it. Plus, Blender is free, right? Yeah, it's free, so and that, yeah. That's... Although, what's it called? Uh, Cinema 4D is going to a subscription model in September. Yeah, I, I got that. Yeah. It's, Notice. Everything's sub now. It's gonna, we're gonna be poor, man. Like, every the whole world is gonna be like, oh, I'm subscribed to like 300 yeah. things. You can have, yeah, you could probably hit subscription fatigue. Yes, yeah, that's... You know. Yep. So this guy, yeah, he's he's looking fine. The Steve 2 is not supposed to be great. I mean, it really screwed me over with the advice it gave me. So <laughs> it's an old device for its screen. We're, we're going to go DOS with the screen, guys and gals. Hey, Miriam. Good to have you here. Welcome with Dave Arcade. You can see his awesome work in the info tab, doing some Photoshop illustration, uh, getting down to the coloring part, which is super fun. Yes. To come to life. Um, yeah. So DOS Green. This is the one. This is the one I'm most excited about. Like, kind of. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Benny, this is, uh, Dave's using a keyboard, he does have a keyboard in front of his Wacom. Yes. I and do. now he's using a mouse, by the way, just kind of pick the colors. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> oh, what is this little? Should, so here's just a thought, by the way. What's up? Like, cause, uh, do you think these greens, that like teal, like should those kind of match? Nope. Okay, that's all I need. <laughs> um, they, they could, but um, when, when I when I color something the way it should be, it's it's the exception to the rule. Okay. Like this has to be DOS green. Mm -hmm. These don't. Okay. I could cool. make them that green, but. Yeah, no, it's just just the just the thought. You go with your color instincts because I think your color is like right on. I think your portfolio shows that for sure. Actually, that's kind of fun. I'm not minding that. Okay, I, I like it still like it's electric. Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe. Which is very appropriate for what you're doing. I think this could be kind of a teal also. Just kind of another green. Oops. That's not bad. I like that. That's fun. We're going to do that. Good job, Paul. Was Yay, that you or was that somebody, it. was that a question that somebody asked? Uh, no, that was just me, but somebody was like, was really liking your color. And for this, we'll go. Hello, Michelle. Good to have you here. Welcome. You're having a fan moment. I'm having a Dave Arcade fan moment. I'm just into this. <laughs> I would love for you to make a coloring book. Uh, yeah, I, I've thought about that. Just uh, doing black lines yeah. and then color it the way you want. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. I've had requests for that. Really into it. That'd be cool. Uh, do, are coloring books still a thing? Like. People still like those? Would you guys want a coloring book there, chat? Yeah. 
Oh, dang it. I, I put... Oh, wait. No, you, you know, I think your stuff would make a good comic book. It's like there's no... It, there's It's so outlandish and crazy and fun, there's no wrong answers with how you'd color this stuff. There's n there's no wrong way to color yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Feel. That's true. So that just gives you a lot of freedom with what you're doing. You know what? I think we're going to use cream color right here instead. Yeah, I like that more. Uh, Marie agrees. Oh, yeah. Looks like we got the uh, <laughs> comments rolling in. Yes. I like yes, please. Coming book. Sarah, Samantha agrees. Michael agrees as well. Yeah, definitely the there's the ma mandala type coloring books out there. It's yeah. Kind of a kind of a thing, but I just like your stuff better. Take that mandala. Yeah, whoever you are, <laughs> Mr. Mandala, take that. <laughs> this person says in the chat, "You are an idiot, Dave." What? <laughs> that is no. so rude. That's not in there, is it? Yeah, it says right there. No, it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> I am wearing a pink glove. Uh, yeah, uh, Michelle, when I do when I do my actually, that's a good question. Let me open up a PSD. Oh, so it's we're talking about you now, huh? No, no, no. I, well, I was just I wanted to compare notes with you because you said you totally did 300 joking. DPI. Yeah. 300 DPI, 18 by 18. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I've been doing, I mean, currently 300, I dropped this down to 150 DPI, because this thing is like crazy. Oh, it's huge, yeah. Yeah, let's see how many, yeah, oh geez, 26 inches by 16 inches. So what's the lowest, so if you wanted to print this out, going at 150 DPI and it's this huge, you're, are you gonna pretty much get the same result at 300 or 150, like are you good? I, I'm good, but uh, this actually isn't even for print. Okay. Just so you know. Oh yeah, so you're Just you're so golden you know no matter what. At. Yeah. But again, like I, I actually pay more attention to uh, like uh, the dimensions, right? So uh, ultimately, this is going to be actually on Instagram. So I'd do 10, 1040 by thirteen fifty or sixty or seventy yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. I got you. So. Oh, there we go. That might have. Okay, now we're still good. Oh, no. See, sometimes you'll do a <laughs> fill like this and you won't be paying attention because it'll be zoomed in like this. And you're like, what the crap just happened? You yeah. zoom out and you're like, pink. Yeah. Yeah, it filled everything. You do have, um, I guess, so you do have the na navigation window, window, ch -ch -ch, navigator, which I typically don't use, but some people will pull that off and this will be like on a separate screen. Uh -huh. So you have the sort of like the large view of w and then the detailed view of what you're working on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have the real right? estate for that, but that, that would that, be super helpful. Sense? Yeah, actually, I do so have the real again, estate for that at home. Yeah. Two, this is on a separate screen. That's your large view and you're like, even though you're kind of lost over here in these details. That's actually you know, really helpful, yeah. You kind of know where you are, shows it right. Yeah, that's great. There. Guys, you should do that. I'll do navigator. that too. And again, you could still panner us the whole idea of this navigator, but just have this as a reference window. Like That's the idea of the navigator? Yeah. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. I wish I had that. So I have 13 minutes. Is that true? Okay, I gotta hurry. <laughs> yeah, it is. But but again, we're just reviewing. Get in your mood boards. You can see that in the challenge tab. Get back over there. So much stuff. Should we talk about Paco's mustache or like, what are we doing? Can we just admire it for a little bit? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's glistening. Yeah. <laughs> at a distance, you can much easier tell when he's smiling with a mustache. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I, I don't usually use colors like this, but I'm kind of enjoying it. Kind of these uh, burned 70s colors. Yeah. I, hmm. I do wish, so I do love the uh, recolor artwork in Illustrator. The what? Recolor artwork what, um, in Illustrator. What's, what's that? Oh man, I gotta show it to you. It'll blow your mind. Recolor artwork? 
Yeah. Oh, it'll remap all this artwork based on the color wheel. If you, the color wheel oh, can I be linked together about. when you rotate yep. it. It'll rotate around. You can apply different color schemes. You know. I know what you're talking about. I haven't used it. Yeah, it's super, super nice. Because that's one thing I would maybe do here. It's like, even if, even if the colors are wrong, you'd always like change it. Yes. Um, are you saying you don't like the colors? No. Uh, the, the, co the colors here are bonkers, but I kind of feel like it's a weird song on an album. It's not typically what you expect from the artist, but you're like, oh, I kind of like this. That's where I'm at. Like, I kind of like this because it's different, but I don't really say different that way. Um, I mean, usually like brighter pinks and stuff. We're going to get into those for sure. But. Love, love pink. Yeah, it's so good. Works. It's just... just you you do as well, obviously. You got the the our audience does. They picked pink for the glove. Yeah, yeah. This pink glove is something else, man. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know. It's actually kind of like less distracting because it's like all, like kind <laughs> of the color of your hand. It's Not really, but kind of. Yeah. That yeah. same with black. Because when you put on the red glove, it was kind of striking, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a little it. too much. I guess Steve too is made of ice. Oh yeah. Very much like a sort of Max Hedrum vibe. Yeah. Too. Got the little lights working on the side. Yeah, how do you say different? I actually just say different, but I said different. Different. A second ago, yeah. I like how you pronounce different, different. It seems <laughs> very appropriate to, just in the spirit of the word. How does lights help on this side a little bit? Not totally jazzed on these colors, but um, but that's, like I said, a color, I, I will color something like five times. You what? You, I'll, I'll you color it. Color. Uh, I'll change the color on like the entire color scheme like five times on mm. some pieces to get to get it right. Like I, I, I think my pieces are colored pretty well, and that does not come easily. You know, I mean, it definitely uh, is a huge. Takes a lot of time. Where is my sketch? Is that it? Yep. I don't like the difference in. See how these are black and then it's like red down here. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of that. Go back to here, select that. Mm -mm. Boom, boom. A little more balanced or I could just make I it. I like that. I like, I uh, definitely like the, that needs to be a dark color. On yeah. Inside. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah, but I was thinking if it was uh, uh, black, like that might be too strong. Yeah, that might be a little strong. Here though, I could go a darker blue. There we go. Okay, he's feeling good. Then we're gonna go oh, yeah, that's a good question. I guess axles, so when you get to painting like the the petal, is that gonna be on a separate layer that you will color that or is it gonna be the same layer? Uh, probably same layer, because, okay. you know, it's fine. And like at this point, like nothing's moving around or anything. No. You're not gonna, I mean, you're, yeah. like, you're going with it. Yeah, it's kind of staying here. Those can't be that color though. That's too dark. I do kind of want a gray kind of cable but I want them to be a little separated. There we go. I'm grab, you know, let's go light gray. This is supposed to be a, like a silver. So let's go like that, bam, bam. That's too dark. There we go. You know what? Also, if you don't like using grays, you can kind of move it into a blue like that. So it still kind of matches. And then these are just gonna be straight up anatomical illustration, blue, oops, that's a good, Val, you are asking a good question. What about Val I'm trying to figure out the, if you could change, that's a very random question, like if you can toggle, uh, make a shortcut, uh, toggle your brush from normal to clear mode. It, Okay, I'm trying to figure that out. 
There are shortcuts for the layer blend modes. And the thing is when you're on a brush, it'll change the brush blend modes. So I was thinking if you do shift command, I thought it was shift command O. Anyways, so it might already be baked in and I'd have to take a look. Uh, and what would be the advantage of doing that? I don't know, Val. Val, why would you? I don't use clear mode and I would totally want to know what you use clear mode for. I don't even know what it does. Clear mode? What is clear, clear mode? I'm clear acting like I know what she's talking Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Like, I don't know what clear mode for a rush is. So guys, you notice I'm having a contrast issue with this red vein and that pink? Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to make the pink lighter. I was going to say you can make the red lighter even if it doesn't match the red it's coming from, and it does not matter. Nobody cares. Just do it. I, l I just love that teal, though. That, like Teal yeah. color is so good. Like that combo. With the I always go it. those kinds of blues. Like once I get into here, I, I hate that kind of blue. I never use it because I can always use mm -hmm. this blue. Yeah. I prefer it. Ah, love that. Love that color. I like how you have the blue veins and everything. Yeah, yeah, the the lack of oxygen mm -hmm. veins. <laughs> that was you want to know when I peaked in school was when I in elementary school I were coloring and I said shouldn't these veins be blue? <laughs> I said that to the teacher. Yeah, and I was like I am so smart. I am so much. And then it was all downhill from there. That was that was a moment I think about to this day. I'm like that was you, so smart. Remember that I said that and that was like first grade or kindergarten. You remembered a word yesterday that I couldn't remember and that was pretty smart. I can't remember what the word was. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple of old guys here. <laughs> remember that word? Remember. remember that word we had yesterday? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so this was a, this was a big conflict for me because I was back to back pinks because I wanted a pink brain. So we'll just deal with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now that's kind of clear to me. I actually didn't know that there's a heart in there and then there's the brain on the other side. Man, that's so cool. Oh, love it. Yeah, I, I, I'm sad though. You know what? We can just make it darker maroon. That's what. I, yeah, that's what I did last night. We'll go like that, and we'll start to separate things that way. There we go. That's too dark. What's that, Paco? You hate it, dude. I'm trying to. He's so rude. <laughs> that Paco. I know him with this. Just ever since he grew that stash. He like thinks he's so, awesome. He's yeah. like, thinks he's Magnum P.I. <laughs> rolling in here, doing what he wants, leaving, camping. Whenever he wants. <laughs> His bones. His bones are going to be this. Oops, this. Oh, that was kind of cool, actually. Oh, man, I kind of like that. Uh, no, nah, we lose contrast. We lose contrast. Ah, do we, though? Stop, Dave. Stop it. Ah, okay. uh, sorry about that. Like Vida Val, like I don't know. There's, uh, is there no shortcut for clear? That's a very specific question. I can't see a shortcut oh, for clear. I gotta stop for a second. So you would. That's a nice pink you have in that background. Mm, I like you. that. Um, yeah. So a clear brush. What what would be the advantage of it? Ah. Uh, is it like a racer? Looks like it works like an eraser. Oh, that okay. So rather than, which is awesome, because I think that is such a good idea. And why does it not have, at first glance, it doesn't look like it. There's a short. So my, my Wacom at home, my eraser brush, the, this person, who, who said that, by the way? Voodoo Val. Voodoo Val, she's onto something, because my, my brush and my eraser button are right next to each other. So I essentially go back and forth all the time very quickly. I'm using a keyboard now, and it's a little slower for me, mm -hmm. but they they are, so important to be able to go back and forth. I'm erasing all the time. Uh, R. R. Hold on, I'm gonna. Oh, the bones, I was gonna color the bones. Well, yeah, you can, Val, just so you know. I mean, it's, it's a pain in the butt, but if you did wanna switch to clear and back again, uh, you want a shortcut key for it. I gotta look into that. Yeah. It's shift option R will give you clear, but that's too much. I will say in Fresco, so she probably has Fresco, there's literally a modifier key right on the iPad. So as you're, whatever brush you're using, will turn it into an eraser. Oh, that's awesome. And that's that's all the mainly what you're going for. Be funny if you're just making up Fresco this whole time. You're just gonna be like, I'm just kidding. Cause everything <laughs> you're saying really sounds exist. red. Yeah. Oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Hey, don't research it. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> <laughs> Just coloring in some old yellow bones. Oh, what is this? Is this part of the brain? 
Or is this part of the... Yeah, okay. Okay. See, that really bugs me that these are so close in color. I, I gotta fix that. This is gonna have to be more of like an orangey red. So we're gonna drop all the way down to the other spectrum, which you don't think makes a difference. Right here, it's pink. Right here, it's more tomato. And we're going more cool. tomato. Two minutes, get your designs in. We'll give you some feedback. See that separation that occurred when I did that? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is too brown. We want more. So this would be a good, uh, dropping it down to the pinks and purples gives you some red options that are pretty and pretty. So just lighten that up a little bit. It matters. You know what? I, I still cool. want to go. I'm just amazing at like again. There's. You're just amazing. <laughs> wow. I'm just amazing. <laughs> no, I'm amazed at. No, I know. I thought these were gonna look very similar, and it's it's those tweaks that you've done definitely like separate them. And I like the schoolhouse really rock look we have going here. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's making me. Would you add a background color? Yep. To. Yep. Um, if you guys want to see, like, I'll just show you. This is my rough. Comp. We can try to flip that up here. Let me show you. Oh, that is so I know we weird. have fireworks, but look at look at the color on screen. Look, look at the color on screen. Oh, oh, no, it's, it's a green. Oh, that is so cool. It's, there's the green background. <laughs> so look at that. That makes it look like my iPad is hollow. I'm excited. Okay. Can we turn? I don't know if that's easy to do. No, it's fine. Can okay. you repaint this real quick? Can we? Uh. Oh crap. Yeah, it's okay. We got what like I just do? 45. I flipped it somehow. I accidentally hit my, okay. I just saw that when you accidentally touch the keyboard and it starts thinking and you're like, what did oh, I do? Yeah. Huh. Father, what have I done? All right. So the nameplate on this, um, we'll make it pink. I, I want to make everything pink. Yeah, that looks good. That's fine. Guys, if, you, if you're into colors, like, or there's colors in your brain that don't match the time you live in, don't worry about it. Like, in school, I, I repainted Guernica by uh, uh, Picasso for a project. And he gave me a huge compliment. My teacher said, these colors look like they just exploded from somewhere in your mind. It's like, that's exactly right. These are the mm. colors I like, and I've never deviated from that. Hey, Eng, what's up? Eng was our winner yesterday. Uh, best uh, comment of the day, save. Save the file. Oh, <laughs> save. It's so good. I, I haven't saved this whole time. Good job. <laughs> good job, Dave. This, this orange wheel just keeps getting on my nerves. We gotta go kind of more red. Bam, bam, do that. And then we will go like this. Ah, that feels better. That feels better. That's better. Maybe even a little lighter. I feel like I'm cooking and I drop a spice in that's good and I taste it. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. that's the spicy meatball, <laughs> but in an Italian accent. That's the spicy meatball. That is a lot of yellow. Uh, what I was going to do for the background, just if you guys want to see. Yeah, I would love to I was gonna, see where you're headed. I was going to do something. It's going to fill in parts I don't want to f fill in, but it's going to do something. Um, in this neighborhood. Okay. Mm, that's not as cool as I want it to be. Uh, I don't know. But I, you don't want to deviate too far from like this color scheme that you got going on, yeah. right? You like, you wouldn't go too blue. No. Right? No. You wouldn't go to a true blue. It's it's this like tertiary level of color. Yeah. Somewhere I might go lighter than That's I, even good. Cause yeah. it's, the thing is this is not distracting and it's yep. not white. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Might even go a little minty. <laughs> I like minty. That just like takes the edge off. So nice. Yeah. Look at you. It's like I know what I'm doing or something. Yeah, man. it's like you do this professionally or something. I might be a pro illustrator. <laughs> you are so good, man. Oh. So impressed. Jeez, thank you. But we can just turn that off now and I can keep it. What color should we make this bomb? Wait a minute, what is going on there? What have I, oh. Oh, did we just not? Oh, oh. I, I haven't, that's part of the sketch I haven't finished. We're good. How much time do I have to draw? 
Uh, well, we we will do these reviews. I can kind of go through it and and have you chime in. You can you can you have still some time to work okay. if you want. Okay. Because I do know you want to probably fin finish that out. Yeah, we should Actually, keep w while you do that, I'll kind of get this set up just so everybody knows about the challenge and all that fun stuff. Cool. Thank you so much, Val, for queuing us on the deadline. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, crap. Fantastic. Dana is right. It certainly it progressed really. You got a lot of work done today. I feel like you really need to Once you start things. adding color, it becomes a real boy. It's just like, you know, it really changes it. Very cool. Well, awesome. Uh, yeah, so let's kind of dive into this. Thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out with us. Uh, really appreciate the people who have participated in the challenge. Okay, so this is day two of the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. Right after this, so in about 25 minutes, we're going to tackle the XD Creative Challenge. But uh, here's the Challenge tab, scrolling down. And the whole idea is to create a mood board in Photoshop. Uh, we give you a starter file. Again, just giving you just something to get started rather than just a blank page in Photoshop. So let's kind of dive into that. Let's see what we got submitted. Again, they just were notified about this not too long ago. Um, it's about two hours ago, actually. So these are things people have whipped together in two hours? Yeah, and I don't see how, because I'm sorry, the Daily Creative Challenge started at 9, and this person submitted this at 9. <laughs> So you you do have access to the challenge before the stream actually goes. Oh, live. I got you. So this person Claus is just the head of the game. Okay, we get it. You're good, Claus. <laughs> uh, just so you yeah. know the, what the starter file looks like. Oop. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Wait for it. There it is. Here's the starter file. Oh, cool. And you can see all these different, you know, numbered, blah blah blah. You get it. New yeah. board. Done. Totally works. Yeah, that's awesome. And I so that's a mood board. This is what we're doing. Yeah. Mood board sampling, probably sampling colors from these different photos. Yeah. Uh, which which does work as well. Does the mood yeah. board have a theme or is it just whatever you want? No, it doesn't doesn't have a theme that I can see. Um, so yeah, just build a mood board in Photoshop. Cool. So which is totally cool. Again, yeah. just kind of like place photos. The photos kind of all have those the same cool look to them. Yeah. It's all very well professionally done. Especially that cat and, and the, the girl above the cat. Yeah. They have a nice feel. Mm-hmm. Both have that like nice glow to them. Fantastic, Claus. Let's take a look. Let's just go boom, 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 boom. Yes. Nothing but good stuff. Challenge one, done. Miss Silly Pixel is not so silly. This is like really cool. Is that is, is cool. Yeah, super, super impressive. Oh man, that green and that pink together are great. Yeah, that's a good call. You're exactly right. That looks well done with the colors. This is a lot of colors. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know even how we stuck with five. I feel like often, like, you know, Adobe Capture makes five colors. Here we have about seven. Mm -hmm. It's totally fine. I don't know what your opinion is. I, I, the more, the more color, the better. You have options. I mm -hmm. mean, that that blue. Is that that combo is just gonna take care of like one three D shape for me? Yeah. So okay. I use a ton of colors. I I'm a big fan of. A lot. Do you typically with colors um, have like complementary? You have warms and cools. I kind of try to go uh, uh, in one direction or the other. So if I'm using um, red pinks, I stay with red pinks. I'm breaking my rules today a little bit. Okay. And so you will red pinks might be okay. So you might. You don't always throw in a blue or green if you're dealing with reds and. Uh, oh, oh, I see. No, no, yeah, see yeah, I do. I actually do use complementary colors a lot. If you're talking about color temperature, I try to lean in one direction or the other. So if okay. I go warm, I stay warm. If I go cool, I stay cool. But I'll use complementary colors all over the oh, place. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you can here. You can see it here, just like again, complementary colors. Yeah. So this one, that's Oops, a good example. So Those are uh, all my reds are cool reds, and that's why the pink is is uh, the highlight, and then the darker parts are more purplish or maroonish. Interesting. So yeah. yeah, I guess your your cool reds it would be pink. Yep. And then if you're cool, if your reds are warm, they're more tomato. Oh, wow. Okay. Very cool. I do it. Uh, and again, here, great job picking the yeah. colors. All this is like top notch. Yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, great job, Miss Silly Pixel. Whoop. Let's 
get into this one. Juan Jose, this is one Juan Jose posted. Oh, so right that's on. That's our presenter this morning. Yeah. Man, we I get want... it. You're good. Yeah. So good. Yeah, the wanna... stuff is really good. If you saw his portfolio, his Photoshop work, and everything oh, is really good. Yeah, I haven't. I, I need to check it out. I come here and I just meet all these new people who are talented, and it's like, well, yeah. talent overload. I want to go to all of those places, by the way. Yeah, no kidding. Probably die, but, you know, it would be a beautiful place to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go there to die? Is that like no. Well, I'd hike in there, but I don't have the energy to hike back oh, out. Oh, I see. It's like I want to be a really good photographer, but I also don't want. I also want to sleep in. Those are all his photos. Those? Like, oh, it, I don't know. Actually. Okay, uh, it doesn't say either way. Oh, this is oh, good color combos too. Yeah, yeah. Summer vibes. I'm jealous of the right side of those color and the left. It's making me. The Steve two head is too yellow. This is more the balance I'm looking for. Oh, really? Yep. Man, that upper upper left is making me those two together, the upper left and then right below with the ocean. That's right. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, those are great These together. These two colors. Okay. Yeah, yeah really. Summer strong. vibes. Yeah. Oh, and it shows. Like, look at all these likes and ba 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 ba. Yep. Ba. Uh, here we go. Uh, trolled coggle. Troll, trolled Coggle. That's a great name. I don't name. know how. What? <laughs> Somebody's in a mood. Somebody's like, oh, it's yeah. it's like 8 a.m. They're like, no, I need it. I need it's it. drinking time. It's time to. <laughs> but you know what? Not only that, I know how to like clearly represent all these colors. Yep. Yeah, those look good, man. So that's cool. Yeah, that cream on the bottom, bottom right is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great job. I think brown's always like a tough color. It is. You know, it's just it's it's often like not a color. It's it just is like sometimes people's skin tone. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then there's the colors you pick. I don't know. Yeah. No, I, I I hear you. Like red, you go dark red, it gets brown very quickly. Yeah. Whoa. So this is good. I like this is these are almost like primary colors, and what I see here are like a lot of neutral colors in the mm -hmm. for the photos. Now, this is freaky. That's Can terrifying. We all agree. I mean, all of this is kind of freaky. Light bulb <laughs> hand grenade. <laughs> you kill. This is too much, right? Look. <laughs> yeah. So is that his Last Supper of villains? Because I just see the. Yeah, I mean, look. It's like, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Wow. But then up here you have the color palettes. Happy, happy color palettes. Yeah. Dark. <laughs> yeah, Dark you things. know, enter into the abyss of something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, either way, you have an opinion and uh, a voice here, so that's cool. The color board complete. Uh, just leaned toward pastel yeah. colors. Flip mode. Oh, I like that. Gosh, that oh, picture on the it. bottom right is dope. That's super cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That's so nice. Yeah. I really like this one. I do too. I like the purples, fun to see. That's cool. That 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 Saturn in the upper right, very mm -hmm. spacey, cosmic. Now we're getting the sampled colors from. Is the person sampling them, or is mm -hmm. okay? No, like all they were given is this. So this will just have the. Oh darn it! Sorry. <laughs> sorry, the guy's face. Here's the, uh, the here's the seven cut spots or whatever. And they just sample from there. Okay. With that in mind, I mean, th I think there's some, those purples are very close together, you know? Yeah, yeah, true. Like, you can hardly even tell the difference. So, yeah. yeah. Now when you're sampling, when you're making a palette, you want you want contrast or else it will bite you. And just like with most, thing, most things start, yeah, know the rules and obviously know when to break them. Like, you might only have three colors to keep yep. for a comp. Like, you don't need seven, sometimes more, sometimes less. Yep. Great job. Flip mode. Collap? Is that how I cut? Collap? Something like that. Got some nice salmons there in the right hand picture. Sorry. They sampled it. Nice. Again, we get we're starting to get some contrast issues on the on the right there. Mm-hmm. Those two? Is that what you're saying? Uh, more colors, more the dark green and then the dark dark blue. Yeah. 
I mean, you can have that. You just got to keep them separated. Mm-hmm. Cool. Great. Great use of photos. Boom. 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 Man, I haven't made a mood board in forever. Wow. Nice. Alana Martin. That's a... This, oh, Alana Martin. Very strong. Steve. There's yeah. a Steve. <laughs> Steve was great. I love how he stayed in his uh, costume the whole time. <laughs> I love how they took the, his big... Um, the thing that made him unique was his hair. So yeah. in that season, he was literally like under a hat. Like, yeah. sorry. Oh, that's a good like, call. There's no way, <laughs> no girls like you because it's covering up your hair. Your superpower is covered your up. Your superpower is, yeah, what are you going to do? But this this is a really strong board. Mm -hmm. It's got it, such a point of view. Yeah. Love Very the cool. Did you get? Did you know you can uh, you could do some amazing things? I don't know if he covered Adobe Stock this morning, but you could search based on say color of this photo. Give me other photos with that same color. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that, it's kind of like a shortcut if you were to do a mood board. Stock is incredible. I was I was uh, searching through it a, a few weeks ago. And there's even 3D objects in there. You uh, can combine that with uh, uh, Photoshop to, to make products uh, stuff. It's mm -hmm. great. Yeah, we have like Adobe Dimension. Yep. Shout out to Darius too. This was on Friday, by the way. Did oh. this? Uh, this is just an animation. So it was like glowing effects or special effects was on Friday. Yeah. And just a shout out to that because that's a pretty cool little. That is cool. Glowing Michelle. Beautiful, dream big, into it. I love those colors of yeah. the, the curtain up there. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Super nice. Oh, wow. Very nice. Great, great. Let's see how many more we have and let's check time. You, you're, keep you're coming. Your natural like um, navigation habit is to zoom yeah. in. Yeah. How do you do that so quickly? Um, you set it up in, if you go into preferences, accessibility on a Mac, uh -huh. and that's where you'll find it. It'll okay. Zoom, some zoom preferences. That's super nice. I like I it. I noticed that it, I'm, we're kind of covering up some of these colors, but. Uh, no, it's great. Yeah, yeah, this is appropriate. Yeah, that's that's my kind of uh, mood board right there. I dig it. <laughs> Michelle, what's up? So there's a Michelle. Boop, boop. She's in chat too. Oh, did Ju I just Julia Thun asks, should you put the colors in a specific order? I think it I think it helps uh, establish contrast. Like if you um, I mean you shouldn't put them in a specific order to some sort of established rule that's out there. Put them in a specific order to you. Um, whatever you're looking for. Like if you're looking for a gradation, put them in that order. If you're looking for contrast, put them in that order. Yeah. And it does help you to just determine if two colors are like too close, if mm -hmm. they're next to each other. Well, maybe they're too close yep. in color. Like we've kind of had that problem. We were noticing that two greens were almost too close. Were they even necessary to have? Yeah, exactly. Not uh, everybody can come to the party. Shahid. Oh, cool. Got some some neat type treatments in there. Kickboxing. You know how you do kickboxing. <laughs> I love kickboxing. I also like lawn don. I love Dupai. <laughs> I want to go to Dupai. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We're just messing with you. I mean, look at that neon. That that neon Ooh, is in there. Ooh, that's electric. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that that's makes it. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Stands out. Felicia, hello. Cool. This is super vibrant. Oh, wow. Jeez. That's awesome. My kind of colors. Mm -hmm. Austin. Ah, oh, you yeah. win. You win, Austin. This is yep. my favorite. If I can like vote for a favorite. Yeah. Oh, Battle Cat. Great mood board, man. <laughs> I've never thought about that. Just like doing a mood board mm -hmm. of like pop culture stuff or cartoons. And this is pretty much right on. Like, look at the color palette generated. Yeah, that's about right. Huh? Yeah, it is, man. That's you killed it. So Perfect. Good. Oh my that God. middle one. That I don't know if you noticed, but that is a real picture of a volcano with lightning. That happens sometimes. It's the it's the most badass thing that can happen is in it, nature. Really? Yeah, there's mm -hmm. lightning in volcanoes sometimes. Wow. Not just in, it's, not just an awesome. It's the toughest cartoons. thing that can happen on planet it's Earth. It's the toughest thing that can happen on planet Earth. <laughs> hey, you know what? You, I know you have lava raining raining down you. How about there's some lightning in your it's face? So cool. There's some lightning. Yeah, <laughs> show you who's in charge. <laughs> Sorry, right boys, off. for swearing. My sons, if they watch this, like, Dad, you said ass. 
Sorry. <laughs> ah, cool. No color palette, but we could easily see. Yeah. You, you know what's funny, by the way, just like, and I might not have time to do this. Let's kind of hide this. But um, this is a shortcut, and I don't know if this is shown. I'll pull this off, open up a browser, go to colors, color.adobe.com. Just again, really fast. Come on, load. No, you're good, man. I'm, um, I'm curious what you're doing. Yeah, so extract from an image. Mm. And then you just take that image and what? then extract those colors. No way. You? That was really cool. Yeah, isn't that nice? Chat, that was cool, right? Love that. Yeah. Color.adobe.com. And sure enough, you get those individual points that you can then also kind of like move around. And I am going to do that and steal palettes and make palettes out of that. Fantastic yeah, idea. Yeah, you should. Man, I wish, capture does. I wish I had you like just on like speed dial, you know, where I could like, like, hey, what's this cool thing? Or can you show me a cool thing real quick? But I know that's I just, not fair to you. I would just, be I just turn around you. and Google it. Be like, yeah, I know that answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you're so helpful. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. There's a lot to... I mean, Julia Thunder says, wow. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad you like it. I should show you then again on like stock.adobe.com. Might be a little bit different, but first of all, good job on these two as well. I feel like we kind of need oh, yeah. a dark color in here, by the way. Yeah, I, I think it actually like works as a whole composite, but it's down a, here it definitely needs like a dark color. Yeah, it needs a dark color. It's a beautiful mood board, but yeah, dark color for sure. Um, okay, we'll search based on that image. Great job, Zeno. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the whole idea of these challenges. Like literally. Just get your hands dirty. Yep. Doesn't matter. We're, That's what you got to do. We're here to support you. Uh, so this is what I actually just kind of dragged over. It's the same image. But again, if I wanted to match this specific image color, I can find images that have just that color. And here's all the images that, that have the same colors. Crazy. Computers. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. that, wow, I can't believe how close that is to the mood board. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that nice? <laughs> that is wild, um, man. Oh, my favorite is composition. So, no, uh, yeah, as you get into it, and I don't really have a good image. Here we go. Let's take. Yeah, take that guy. Take okay. something that that you it would be very. I mean, distinct. this is this is pretty complex. I was looking for something that had. Let's just take this guy. Um, maybe if it has space on the right side or something, mm -hmm. give me something that has also space on the right side. So this already is, uh, you know. Find similar by all attributes, by color, by content. So give me all the, it might give me statues, it might give me actual people. But here's content, it's giving me all statues. Oh my gosh. Uh, color is gonna be some random stuff. Probably give me some sand, oh, some wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I expect that. Composition might be a little tricky because like, again, he's, look at it, kind of has space in the upper. No, totally does. That's so cool. Because if, if you're an art director and you're laying stuff out and you know you want to put your copy right there, but you don't like that image, mm -hmm. yeah. like this is so handy. Because we're producing like whatever, 20 trillion image or how many, image. it's not going to be a matter of whether the image exists, it's finding the right image. Yep. Eventually that's, that's going to be the huge issue. Um, that that just blew my to... mind. I, I search for all kinds of stuff, and I didn't know, and it would save me so much time to use that. I didn't know that existed. Mm -hmm. um, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, pretty nice. Good job, Gerard. Looking good. Like the layout, perfect. This is fun. Of course, one of my favorite. There's that hot pink. Oh yeah, nice. Into it with this electric color. So again, the same level. Yep. Yep. You can't you can't have everything in your in your layout to be electric. So this is why it's like yeah. nice and balanced. Yeah, out. it is very balanced. It's nice. Dig it. Yeah, a lot of people who who submitted here. It's great. Yeah, holy cow! I don't know if we're gonna get through all of these. Yeah. We could uh, review them in the next segment. Look at those Sweet colors, things. man. I love these. Yeah. And the, just the portraits. Yeah. Like. I feel like this; these guys are going to pull off a heist, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or something. <laughs> we're going to make uh, like, everything drab in the world is, colorful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it would be fun interesting to see Diane and how close to what sh her mood board, ha like how close it is to her personality. Yeah, fun interesting. I like that. Fun interesting. Good work. That's. Very nice. 
playing with background colors, getting, there's that one, and this is our last one. Lael, is that right? Sorry to make, to click on that and hide it. Oh man, this one makes yeah. me want to take a road trip through America. Yeah, and we underestimate how hard it is to find the like right images and everything. And these are like, yeah. these are good. These are great. You got like an Edward Hopper kind of feel in that bottom middle right there. Mm -hmm. Just some lonely dude. Yeah. And the upper right as well. It's great. Yep. Yeah, great, uh, great layout. Very fun, interesting. Everybody did a fantastic job. Congratulations. Diving into Photoshop, you're going to be a pro. Maybe you'll be sitting here. Yeah. Next time, right next to Dave. Well, we'll get you your own chair. Yeah, but you know, I'll be you know. in the corner. <laughs> no, you'll be. You'll be the man. So awesome! Congratulations, everybody. Did a great job in the was great. Uh, challenges, and uh, we'll keep the feedback going. Again, that's all on the Discord channel. Check that out in the challenge tab. Review those on your own, and get involved. Oh, Felicia, uh, yay! We checked out yours. Yours was cool. Good to see you here. This is good. We're getting down to the next last couple minutes, by the way. Yeah, his face, you know what? We're just gonna, his face is bugging me. We're gonna go, I'm gonna try pink for his, his face, just, just to try it. And I'll know right away just from it does feel a little bit better to me. Yeah, it, fe it feels more human yeah. at, with this color. Yeah, which we kind of want, I think. Yeah. Because there's some organic stuff and... You want the... There's also the dark under the jaw under the jawline. Yes. Yep. His bottom lip might be a little too dark, but... Um, what do you think, Kroll and Felicia and Alfredo? Is this looking good? I like the pink. I think the pink's really good. Yeah, I'm feeling that more, for sure. I don't know if his nose needs that dark of a... So cool. There we go. This actually wouldn't be that dark, would it? It's kind of facing our light source a little bit. Also, if it wasn't clear, my light source is definitely coming from right here. So when I drop shadows into this thing, I will do them like so. Well, you know what? It's kind of annoying to have shadows all going and so I was trying it last night and I think I would actually do something like this. Oh, you might switch it up. And that's one yeah. thing you said yesterday. I thought it was really good. It's like, yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Like, use shadows artistically as well. Like, you have that creative freedom. Exactly. I mean, obviously, I could have shadows going different directions, but. Yeah, you can. Dave, that kind of yeah. winds us down. Are we like, done? Oh, man. I'll make you sure know, to post like, this. Follow yes. me on Instagram and you can see the rest of it. If you Thank don't, you. then that's fine. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah. How do they, what's your Instagram? Dave Arcade. Dave Arcade. Yep. Thank you. Simple. Keeping it easy. Yep. Well, we appreciate you. You're a true talent and a professional and just a great human being and fun to hang out with. I think we can all agree. We thank you as well for hanging out with us. But Thanks, please Boo -Boo -Boo. don't go anywhere. Okay. Stick around. We'll uh, see you guys. Andrea no. will be up next. Don't leave <laughs> us yet. Happy hanging out with us. Uh, we've got a full day planned, so uh, stick around for the Daily Creative Challenge uh, for XD coming up next. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, you're Yay. awesome. Yay. Love you guys Bye. in chat. Love you, Rachel and fam. Dave.